Okay, hi guys, and uh, today we're going to be looking at instructions again. We're looking at instructions again. Yesterday you learnt to follow instructions and you were making some really cool stuff, eh? Making some paper planes. Now today we're, we are learning to order familiar instructions. Familiar means ones we've probably heard before. Okay, and putting them in the right order. Okay, we're going to put them in the right order. So, without further ado, let's go. So, let's think about making some tasty toast. Say so, some tasty toast. Oh, I love toast. So, oh, I'm going to read you them, and I want you to think about what one might come first. How to make toast. That's our title. How to make toast. Use the lever to push the bread down into the toaster. The toaster will turn on. When the toast is done, it will pop up and the toaster will turn off. Or spread the butter or low fat spread on your toast along with a topping of your choice. Maybe jam or marmite or peanut butter. Put the slices of bread in the toaster. And enjoy your toast. So, let's have a think. What one of those would come first? What one of those would come first? Which one would come first? Well done. If you said putting the slice of bread in the toaster would come first. Putting the slice of first. Put the slice of bread in the toaster. Next, which one will come next? When the toast is done, it will pop up. Or spreading the butter, will that come next? Or using the lever to push down the bread. Or will it pop up? Or will you enjoy your toast now? Put the slice of bread in the toaster and enjoy it? Mmm. I don't know which one would come next. Well done. If you said we need to push down the toast so it goes into the toaster. Well done. If you said to push it down so it goes into the toaster. Okay. So next one. After that, so we had first put the slices of bread in the toaster. Next, use the lever to push the bread down. After that, what's going to happen? If it's sitting right down, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? After that, it's going to pop up. It's going to pop up and the toaster will turn off. It will turn itself off, won't it? And then, are we going to enjoy the toast or are we going to put our butter on it? Well done, if we then we put our butter on. And finally, what do we do finally? What are we going to do finally? We've put our butter and jam on. Not really much left to do other than enjoy our toast, isn't it? It's to enjoy our toast. Yummy, yummy, yum. Now, you may also have noticed between these slides, actually then there are numbers on our pictures. I just took them off. Because otherwise it's super duper easy, isn't it? So I just took them off. But they are there to help us. So we could just put one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that will help us if we can put them in the correct order. So our next challenge, our next challenge is to put the, these things. And this might not be so familiar. It might not. We might not have done it before. So we need to think about posting a letter and I'll read you these what are the different steps or post your letter in the post box put your letter into the envelope write your letter put a stamp on your letter and walk to the post box so here they are again what's the first step there's our keywords first next then after that and finally what would come first? Which one's going to come first? Again, I've covered up the numbers. 
which number would come which one would come first what do we have to do first when we're going to post a letter well done if you said we have to write our letter first yeah of course we have to write our letter otherwise we're just going to post some empty paper so we're going to write our letter first then next first we're going to write our letter next if you were i just showed you the answer if you're paying attention next we're what are we going to do we're going to post our letter put a stamp on it or walk to the post box or we're going to put it in an envelope so we've written our letter next we're going to put it in an envelope yeah that's right we're going to put it in an envelope then after that we're going to put it in the post box no what we're going to do is we're going to put our stamp on it number three then we're going to put a stamp in the top right hand corner top right hand corner this side there i'm going to put the stamp in the top right corner where i am on your screen and then are we going to post it or are we going to walk to the post box first after that we're going to walk to the post box and then finally we're going to post our letter in the post box so let's do that together first we're going to write our letter show me writing your letter then we're going to put our letter into the envelope then we're going to put our stamp in the top right hand corner and then we're going to walk to the post box and finally we're going to post our letter great job let's check we've got them in the right order with the numbers they are one two three four five yeah great job okay so could you pause the video now and tell an adult these instructions by using the first next then after that finally don't worry if you don't get it completely right, but you can have a look at the pictures and they will help you. Okay, so here's today's activity for you. You are going to be looking at instructions on how to make a pirate hat or a hat, any hat that you like. You could make a unicorn hat or a uh, fairy hat or a crazy hat because you, your hair's got so long you have to wear a hat okay and you, or you could just draw a nice pattern on it okay so how to make a pirate hat these are your instructions i've left the numbers on just to make it a little bit easier for you just to make it a little bit easier for you so and i want you to order these instructions okay and then they are again follow the and then once you've put them in the right order you think you've got them in the right order you don't have to write them down if you want to then great but you don't have to but today i want you to follow these instructions in the correct order and then send me a picture of your decorated pirate hat and if you really want to i'd like it if you could record a video telling me how to make a pirate hat either you can talk it or you could show it you could hold the camera and so that you are in it and then if I get enough videos, I'll cut them all together and uh, stick them together. So just like I did with the loo roll video. And then I'll see if I can make a video with everyone in it telling us how to make a pirate hat. Okay, great job. I look forward to seeing your amazing pirate hat. And I'll speak to you again soon.